So decisions on location. So when we talk about decisions on location, we're talking about where businesses are set, being set up, where businesses are set up. So what do they put in mind before setting up in that location? That is decisions on location. So let's quickly go to the case study. Please read for me. Case study, nuclear power stations. Nuclear power stations are used to generate electricity. Today, around 11% of the oil for electricity globally generated by nuclear power. Globally, there are over 400 uh, nuclear power stations with a further 67 plant uh, for the future. People are looking to worry about the location of nuclear power uh, plants because of the risk they potentially carry. Uh, some people still remember the impact and harm caused by nuclear in the US escape from uh, plants in uh, Chernobyl, Ukraine. Ukraine, then uses uh, a USSR in 1986. Uh, and Fukushima, Japan, in 1920. Uh, nuclear uh, plants cannot be built without the lengthy. Cons uh, conciliation process involving the, the, the local and national authorities, uh, local communities, and power companies. Uh, there are legal uh, restrictions on the uh, location. Nuclear plants uh, also need solid ground and plenty of space. Uh, most plants uh, also need access to a water source, such as a lake or river, and access to large workforce. The construction of nuclear plants may have around 20,000 people and a uh, 2,000 people and a further 500 or so to break them. Many nuclear plants also uh, around, the, around world. the world are built just uh, outside small or medium-sized towns and on the coast. However, despite uh, despite the potential risk of uh, such cities, such sites, sites, uh, they cannot be too, uh, they cannot be too remote because the electricity produced has to be fed into the electricity uh, distribution system. system to uh, reach the final need. Okay. Yeah, case study two, please. Uh, online businesses. Many, uh, many thousands uh, of new businesses were online. So, uh, some uh, high profile include uh, uh, examples, examples include Facebook, Amazon, uh, Twitter. Twitter. Uh, however, uh, many other services providers uh, offered as retailers, consultants, consultants, consultants bloggers, web designers, uh, information providers, and teachers. The one thing they all have in common is that they use the internet to trade. One of the main advantages of these businesses is flexibility of location. Uh, many traders, most traders, most traders can uh, uh, locate okay. their base uh, anywhere in the world as long as they have access to the internet. However, some large online trade uh, retailers uh, uh, may need to locate uh, their operations close to the grid uh, transport networks. This will help them to distribute their products uh, effectively and efficiently. Efficiently, thank you. So we'll go to the questions now. They said, what are the factors that must be taken into account when locating a nuclear power station? The first thing is access to a large workforce. Based on what they said, they said, based on the case study of the nuclear plants, said they're going to need 2,000 people and additional 500 to operate the plant, right? So they need access to large workforce. So uh, availability of land space. Yeah, based on the, uh, the case study, it said the nuclear plants need stable ground and more space. So you need accessibility to land. And the third one, availability and accessibility of water, as most plants need access to water system or water source. Then the last factor that could be put into consideration is legal controls. The business might need government influence, as the building of nuclear plants may need different construction consultations. So you might need to consult the government or maybe the local community to, to get them or to convince them why it's important to have such plants in their community. So that's about that. Then for the case study two. 
question they said describe how the change in business development has affected the location of many service providers such as retailers so the change in business environment may affect the location decision made by some businesses as retailing has changed over time now people start trading online using the internet using different social media like the facebook the the uh, comments yeah they, they trade on the internet and the advantage is that it provides them the flexibility to operate wherever they are in as much as there's internet facility internet access i think it's clear so we'll go on now to factors influencing the location or the location of businesses so we're talking about factors influencing location and the location of businesses we're talking about factors that businesses put into consideration when they have to to locate when they have to set their business in a location or when they have to move their business from one location to another location so the first one we're going to talk about here is proximity to the market we're talking about proximity to the market we're talking about closeness to the market so here yeah, business that make large or every product must consider opening their businesses closer to their customers to keep transport cost down service providers have to think about locating closer to their market because most services are sold directly to consumers so what we're saying is this for businesses that provide that, that sells or that produces heavy products that needs a large amount of transportation to deliver they might think about locating they might think about setting up in a location that is closer to their customers so customers will not be customers will not be spending so much on transportation and they won't be also spending so much on transportation so it can reduce their cost and the price they have to sell to customers for service providers you know for services providers they, they might need to deal directly with customers like the hospitals like the banks so they need to set up where they need to look they need to locate their business or set their premises where it's closer to their customers because those customers are customers that they might need to you know they might need to transact with individually so if they are far away the customers might start thinking about alternatives so proximity to labor we're talking about proximity to labor we're talking about so, closeness to the workforce that you need yeah the business needs to put into consideration the wage costs and labor skills so businesses may locate in a certain area due to large supply of labor or due to needing certain skills which cannot be found everywhere so two things you have to put into consideration when you're when you're talking about proximity of labor to labor is the cost of labor and the the skills needed to carry on the, to carry out the function or the operations so when we talk about the cost of name of labor we're talking about the supply of labor so businesses might put into consideration where they can get cheap supply of labor to reduce their cost of production or wage cost which will also definitely reduce the cost of production and they may put into consideration different skills needed for their operations and if they can't find those skills within where they are located they might need to relocate to where the skills are available is it clear proximity to materials places that use large amounts of raw materials that are difficult to transport may choose to locate their premises very close to their source so here because you need large numbers of raw materials or large amount of raw materials and you know getting it far away might be might hinder your operation or production you might choose to locate where the, the, the sources are available that is proximity to materials then we'll go to proximity to competitors for competitors businesses especially the service business they might put into consideration the level of competition the number of competitors available in certain location so they might not place their location or premises closer to where the competitors are so that they won't be sharing the same customers but some businesses will deliberately open where competitors are why because their business are their business are what we call uh, what do we call it i think i wrote it they are comparison of businesses that we can compare one and another we can compare business a with business b the industry they are allows comparisons so that means you can compare before you buy so businesses that need comparison businesses that are popular with comparisons might need to set up where their competitors are 
so that they can show why their product is different from those of competitors. So that's proximity to competitors. Then we have the case study which you have to do after now. So we go to the nature of business activity. So the nature of the business can also determine the kind of the decision you take about location. The kind of business you do can also be determined by the kind of decisions you take or decisions you take about locating your or relocating your business. So we start with the service businesses. For the services, I would businesses in the service sector may need to choose a suitable location where there is ease of access and parking facilities. So businesses that are in the service sector, they might need to locate in a place that there is accessibility to good road and parking space. Because if there are no good road and parking space, they might not have clients. So clients might start thinking about the inconvenience they, they face whenever they have to deal or they have to transact with these. So they start thinking about other places, other businesses that will give them accessibility to parking space and road network. For office-based businesses, we're talking about businesses like the financial institutions, like the banks, like big businesses that mostly what they do is about offices. They have offices cut across the country. So they put into consideration different, uh, different accessibility, such as restaurants, um, hotels, um, what else do I write there? Restaurants, hotels, cafes, uh, cafes, gyms. Gyms, oh, no, no, gyms. We're talking about serious businesses here. So they put into consideration the convenience of their, of their clients, uh, the convenience of their workers, because they have to employ a large number of workers, like Libyana, the telecommunication companies, they employ a lot of workers. So because these workers need to be need conveniences too, they need to get their food at, at every point in time. They need um, accessibility to cafeterias and sort of. So they need to, that means any business in line with office base needs to set up in large cities. So they have to locate their business in where they can find restaurants, where they can find hotels, where they can find caf cafeterias. If not, it will not be easy. It will not be convenient for their workers. It will not be convenient for customers or clients to deal with them. So that's what we're talking about. Then the third one is manufacturing and processing. We're talking about manufacturing businesses. They need more space. They need land. They need space to operate. So what do they do? I would. Manufacturers that are okay now. For manufacturing businesses, one we have to think about their process, their production process. So man manufacturing businesses are labor intensive. That means they need more workers. So because they need more workers, they might need to set up where there's cheap supply of labor and the skills they need. That is for production processing, production process, which is labor intensive. But if the manufacturers are they need uh, large areas. If they need large areas, they need to set up in locations that the lands are cheap, are cheaper. Do you get the point here? Listen, so when we talk about manufacturing, you have to put two things into consideration. First, if you are labor intensive, it means you need more workers. So if you need more workers for your operations, you need to set up where there's supply of labor and cheap supply that you can get labor for cheaper rates then you set up there because you need more workers. And two, if it's about needing a large land for your operation, that you need more space for your operations, then you think about locations that have cheaper rates of land, where you can get land at a cheap rate. Is it clear? But not far away from the city. Any questions about that? Then we have agriculture. You know, agriculture involves farming, fishing. So for agriculture, I would farming. Farming business will be done where the land is fertile and can easily be accessible to business and customers. So for, uh, for, farming, for, for farming businesses, they need to plant crops. And because they need to plant crops, they need to set up where the, the lands are fertile, that when they plant, it will germinate. If not, they're not going to sell. And for fishing, they need to set up closer to the coast or in the coast. Is it clear? 
that's the location. Then we go to the, the next one here. That's about agriculture. Then there's a case study that you have to do. Then we go to the impact of the internet on location decisions. Impact of the internet on location decisions. Yeah, I said, since many people are switching to the internet when shopping, when shopping rather than going to stores, this has changed the way business decides on location. These days, people start thinking about shopping online instead of going to the normal traditional stores. So what are the changes that have occurred? Well, the development of online businesses bring about flexibility to entrepreneurs when choosing location. So, because these days, people shop online. So it gives entrepreneurs, owners of businesses, the flexibility to choose the locations they wish to choose. It's not like, oh, we have to be there. It is important, it is compulsory we are there. No, these days, you can be anywhere in as much as, in as, much as there's internet accessibility, then you can do your business. Two, so this means retailers can serve customers that are far away from their location. So with internet, with the impact, the impact of internet also has made it easier for retail businesses to deal with their customers. Even if the customers are far away, they can chat up and like the fast food, you can, you can order for food anywhere from Triple, and you get it. Businesses do not need to have fixed premises. They can operate from anywhere in as much as internet is available. So these days with internet accessibility, you can operate anywhere around the world. You don't have to be in a fixed area before you can operate. Like teachers, teachers can teach online via Zoom without even coming to teach you privately. So I mean, I can teach you online without being here. So that's what we're talking about flexibility in as much as there's internet. Then we have influence of legal controls and trade blocks on location. So when we talk about legal controls, we're talking about government influences, government regulations, government rules that influences location of business or this business decisions about location. So here I wrote legal controls. Government may try to influence location decisions based on the following reasons. What are the reasons why government would want to influence location decisions for businesses? Number one to avoid congestion where there is too much development. So business government wants to ensure that areas and locations that are already developed are not congested. So they try to influence businesses to locate where they still need development. Do you get it? So to minimize the externalities they may cause, you know, they want to ensure that the external cost is reduced. And the, social, the external and social costs is reduced when setting up location for business. The third one, to encourage manufacturers to locate in areas where there is high unemployment. So government wants to influence businesses to locate their business where there is high unemployment rate, where people need jobs. So don't locate where there's nobody needs a job, locate where people are hunting for jobs. So it will allow unemployment, it will reduce unemployment in the society in that area. Yeah. Fourth one, government could use financial incentives to influence choice made by business when choosing location. Government could give subsidies. Government could reduce taxes on, on, in different locations so that businesses would set up their business there. Government could come up with different reduction in taxes. Government could subsidize. Government could sell land at cheaper rates in some areas, in some locations, so that businesses could see it's cheap and they want to set up there. And the last one, to attract foreign manufacturers into the country. So government could you know, use different incentives to attract multinationals to come set up in different remote areas, which could also increase employment opportunities. Then when we talk about trade blocks, we talk about trade blocks means is a, it's a group of countries that want that have, that have come together to trade for free. So because you have trade blocks, Businesses might choose to set up within that trade block to avoid paying taxes, to avoid any legal control. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? Yeah. Do you have any questions about that? So please start the activity now. Something we're done? Yeah, we're done. We start